As early morning clouds roll in, scattered light casts a pink hue across the bay. Shrimping boats calmly rock back and forth while cranes catch their first meal of the day. And ready to capture it all is artist Steve Russell. At dawn, when the first light comes, it's such an enchanted world. It's such a beautiful time of day. You've got those long shadows again, and things are soft and uh, very inviting. And it's all over in about 20 minutes or less, that magic moment. If you're a Rockport native, chances are you've come across Steve capturing those magic moments, but you won't find him around big yachts or fancy marinas because his focus is on showing a side of Rockport that most people might not even notice, the side he fell in love with as a little boy. I was born here in Rockport, Texas in 1946. I was a very small community at the time. Grew up knowing everybody in the grocery store and there was no stoplights. The roads were a lot of shell roads. Leave your keys in the car. You could leave your clothes on the clothesline. I don't gravitate to plumb, squared things. I like something with leaning, more character, rust, real homey stuff. Tell me about this one over your shoulder right here. What is that? That's the Port Aransas light. It's still a navigational eight. But the romance of it, you know, the ships that have gone by coming home, I always think of, you know, the sadness and leaving and the happiness on the return. So it's a landmark that's, that stood the test of time. So this is an estuary out in front of that. Oftentimes it's real clear. There's crabs, mullet, trout. It's a special paradise, and that's what I like to paint. Russell's impressionist style and affinity for South Texas scenery has made him a fixture in the Rockport art scene for more than 40 years. Aged, weathered boats and calm coastal bends are his specialty, an ode to a way of life that time is slowly passing by. And long after he's gone, will be preserved forever by his work. You realize that it's not just your paintings that may be around eight, 900 or more years, but because of what you paint, it's images of Rockport in this whole area today that you're preserving. Right behind me, there's some paintings that I did that are I consider them to be historic uh, renditions. A friend of mine's mother was a photographer with a very early camera, like a brownie, you know. And she took a lot of images around this area in 1927, 28. And I got to go through those things. And I was very touched, you know, right now talking about it, is it showed things of Rockport in the 20s that uh, gave me room to expand. And that's so why I painted wild sunrises and, you know, sparkling water. But I used the information that that lady had saved for me with those images of nets that are hung up to dry, rowboats that have been pulled out on the beach because they'd sink otherwise. Just all kinds of everyday uh, floats and jets, so to speak, around the harbor. But I just think about 500 years ago, what was it like to walk across that slough right there? Try to imagine the ducks that were here in those days had to be outrageous numbers. Fish, redfish by the thousands, millions that aren't here now. So it's that journey from a blank canvas through letting that painting be what it wants to be. Even the weariest seamen have been calmed by the timeless ocean breeze, the full tide, sunlight dancing along sparkling waves. This might not be a scene you can find in Rockport forever, but Steve Russell's going to preserve it one painting at a time. You're preserving 
the way it is now and the way it was. I love the way it is now and I love the way it was. But if someone can look at this later and say, well, I haven't seen that many ducks. Uh, they were here. So it was those uh, paradise it is now and hopefully whatever comes of it. But I, I want to mark it. How long will you paint? I'll paint until my last breath. I have to paint. Like the Harley Davidson people, that they live to ride and ride to live. Well, I juxtapose the words is I paint to live and I live to paint. I, I love doing it. <laughs> <laughs>